it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel for a series of timeless hairstyles that never go out of style. So I'm starting off with how to get these retro curls or waves. I show two different ways and then how you can take this and have second and third day hairstyles that are also very easy and chic. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more vintage vibes tutorials. And I went with a 1920s inspired red lip today and that is inspired by today's sponsor, June's Journey. So typically I do not promote apps in my videos, but this is different because it's my actual obsession and it is a hidden object murder mystery mystery game set in New York and Paris in the 1920s. Each scene is hand painted and the main gameplay is words come up on the bottom and you quickly find hidden objects and through the levels more objects appear and the overarching story is about June Parker solving a murder mystery so you'll get clues and it takes you to different locations. And the more you play, the more amazing features are enabled. So at the moment, this is my island that I'm decorating and I have a group chat within the game and we meet up at a certain time and give each other coffee within the bar and it like gives you more energy. So it's really cool. It doesn't get old because it's always changing and super fun. June's Journey is a beautiful escape. So if that's something that you're searching for, definitely check it out. I'll have a link down below and hopefully you can come visit my island. First step to creating vintage inspired waves on yourself is a diagonal part. I find this more flattering than a straight part because you can get a bit more hair on the side with less hair and it appears more balanced. And I have a lot of hair, but this look really does work better if you have medium to long hair, not super long hair. You'll be able to get more perfectly defined curls a bit more easily. I'll just demo on my own hair obviously, but these are the steps on how I get the look in about 20 minutes. After brushing through and adding in a heat protectant, Separate from the part to behind your ear and clip away these front sections. Then create a horizontal part across the back and we are left with two bottom pieces that we are going to curl with a 19mm wand. I find it easier to use a wand on myself but if you have a curling iron that's around this shape that could work too. And as you curl around the head keep in mind that you want the curls to go in one direction so when you're working on the side with less hair curl towards your face. I'll show how to wrap your hair around the wand and first give a bit of tease to your roots and if you have finer hair like I do, I also like to mist a bit of a light hold hairspray onto my hair before the heat tool. You don't want to really coat this or you'll get that um, like smoke <laughs> sensation but a little bit will help the curl hold. So I'm using the Aveda air control hairspray and hopefully you can see I'm using my wrist and twisting the hair slightly around as I go so that the hair um, is not lying flat which would give more of a ringlet type of curl and we're going for more of a wave. Carefully drop the curl into your hand and in its shape pin up and I'm going to show you guys how I like to work around the head so I don't get too many clips in the way of the hair. If you want to curl your head and leave the hair to set that's great. I do find too many clips on yourself especially with long hair. It can get really easily tangled when you're trying to take them out so I find this to be easier a little bit more foolproof if you're working on your own head. Now hold the end of the curl and tease through the bottom and expand outward from the root. The curl will fall more into a flat wave and set with hairspray. Next section I'm going to work on, again a bit of teasing, prepping my hair, curling towards my face and allowing the hair to get a bit twisted as it's wrapping around. Catch the curl and let it sit. And when we release it, we're going to really expand it and add a bit of teasing through the bend. Because I have so much length, I find the top of the wave still does get weighed down faster than if you have like half my length, for example. But the main idea here is to allow the curl to set at least a little bit, even if that's just holding your hand and waiting for it to cool off instead of pinning. And then you want to make sure that you have that expanded curl to be wider rather than a grouped together section. Next layer, I still do have the first two pieces sectioned off and I'm doing another set of four curls this time. And if you can leave the top curls pin longer, that's going to be the best because those will be the main waves that you see. And if you do have shorter hair, again you can follow these curling steps and once the curls have set and you take them down, you might be able to fully brush out the curls and then just add some teasing if your hair doesn't weigh down the um, set curls as much. With longer hair, if I go in and brush the curls even super gently, they fall pretty dramatically. And the most fun part of this look is definitely expanding out the waves. Thank you. 
Then I'm dividing the bang section into two curls. And I'm gonna curl towards my face. You can continue to push these away like the rest of the section. I think that would be a bit more modern. It's also a bit more comfortable because you don't have the hair wanting to go over your eye, but doing this does give more of a retro look. Setting these curls down, and I've seen this look so many times on red carpets. They tend to rock vintage inspired looks that don't look outdated, just classic. Another tip if you want to do this hairstyle for an event, try to get ready in a cold room or like a cooler room because you will get warm with the hot tools, especially doing the style on yourself and you don't want to sweat and have the curls on your neck get messed up. So um, that's just a practical tip. With my hair brushed out the next day, I'm going to show you guys a go-to low ponytail that always looks chic. If you have bangs, leave those out so they look pretty from all angles. And I'm going to have my hair in a center part and leave down some face framing pieces. I'm making sure the crown is brushed backwards. And then use a small plastic elastic. Pinch and pull around the base of the hair so that it's softer. And if you pull a little too much on a section and your hair is already grouped together, just add a bobby pin to adjust so that um, it doesn't fall too far around your face. So I wore a Chanel bow in my 5 minute perky ponytail which is another very classic look and I got a lot of questions where I got that bow and I did get it when I purchased a bag in Paris so that was a lot of fun but you can find this Chanel ribbon on eBay, Etsy, you can definitely find it without buying anything from Chanel. And if you have darker hair like me, I think a white bow looks gorgeous. And if you have blonde hair or just lighter hair in general, I think a black bow really stands out. And there is my go-to pony that shows off some soft waves. It's great for second day hair, really simple, but I think it looks really classic. So here I am again in my favorite place, which is Central Park. I adore any fairy tale like spots in New York. And finally, let's do a gorgeous chic low bun that's equally as easy as this ponytail idea. A side part but only a tiny one and then I'm brushing the rest of the hair backwards and setting with a bit of hairspray. Next create a low ponytail with an elastic and on the last loop create a bit of a bun. Brush out the length of the hair and I like to add a small elastic to the end and give it a bit of a twist. Adding this elastic, make sure that the hair doesn't fall out of place, and then wrap around and add a couple of bobby pins at the base. You can leave it like this. Um, I decided I wanted to fan the bun out actually at the last second, but I added a couple more bobby pins grouped at the side, and it turned out like a little croissant. I thought it was pretty cute. I wanted to do this super low so you could see it um, from straight on. You could also do a mid pony, so by the time you have that first little bun and wrap around, it will reach the bottom of your hairline instead of draped over your neck. So that part is totally up to preference. And then I styled with um, a very pink and gold springy makeup and kept it classic with a red lip, some pearl accessories, and this jumpsuit is from Aritzia. Vote below which hairstyle you think looks most classic or that you want to try out. Thanks again to June's Journey for sponsoring a portion of this video. I think you guys will really love the app. Like, I don't get into phone games ever, and I'm just obsessed with it. I think because it is kind of vintage inspired, it like drew me in, and I am actually really good at it. So you might see my top score on some of them, and if my score is low, it's because I let my boyfriend play on my account. <laughs> so anyways, if you wanna keep on watching, be sure to check out some of my latest uploads, like this Lily Rose Depp inspired makeup look from The Met, it's very modern 90s, and if you're looking for more hair inspiration, you might like my series of 90s hairstyles. So I hope you'll keep on watching, and I'll see you in my next video.